Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 45 of Learn Lightroom 5. And in this episode, I'm going to show how you could get an Instagram kind of look to your images. Now, I got to admit, I'm not a big fan of Instagram. I really try to be open minded about everything. But for some reason, I never could really wrap my arms around Instagram. It always seemed to me it was like putting lipstick on a pig. I've seen a lot of very average images that just get dressed up in Instagram and people think their works are art and I just really never could accept it and though I try and I try but with that said a lot of people really like some of the filters in Instagram and I'm gonna show you how to get one of the filters I believe this is called the Memphis filter in Instagram one of the more popular filters and I'm gonna show you how to do it on a very average image. Now this is a raw file, uh, no processing was done to it, and what you're going to do in the basic panel is some very basic stuff. We're going to pull contrast down and bring it down to around minus 50, and you're just, you know, in the vicinity, minus 50. I'm not, you know, every image is different, and you could come back and retweak these later. So right now I'm at minus 52. That's fine. The other thing we want to do, we want to flatten the image. So we brought the contrast down, so we're going to open up the shadows a little bit. And it's going to vary from image to image, and I'm just going to eyeball it till I think it's kind of flat without really being super washed out. So, I don't know, somewhere around plus 61 on this image is fine. So somewhere probably between I would guess between 55 and 70 in most uh, images would be fine. Now again, this isn't super critical, and after you're all done, you could come back and tweak these some more to get the uh, image to be more uh, to your liking. So we're done with the basic panel. Now we're going to go to the tone curve. Now make sure you're in the point curve. If you see right here, if you click right here, this opens up and we have these sliders. This is the, the tone curve. We want to be in the point curve, so you're going to close that down, and we're going to be in the linear point curve, so make sure that that's closed. So we're actually adding points onto this um, curve. We're going to skip the RGB channel. We're going to go right to the red channel. Now, if you could see in the lower left hand, well, if you look all across, you'll see there's these larger squares. There's four going across. And then inside those larger squares are smaller squares. I hope you can see that in the video. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the first intersection in the lower left-hand corner, which is right here. And we're just going to push this curve up one of those smaller square increments. Again, don't worry about getting it precise. Just get in the ballpark. Then go up in the upper right-hand corner and grab the um, curve there and just pull it down one of those um, smaller increments and this is kind of a reverse S curve for the red channel. Now we're going to go to the green channel and we're going to put a normal S curve in that. So we're going to go to this first intersection again and we're just going to drag this one down. Now remember in the red red uh, channel we pushed it up and in this one in the upper right hand corner we're going to push that up. So now this is the typical S curve. Now we're going to go to the blue channel and we're going to do the same thing to the blue channel that we did with the red channel. We're going to go to this first intersection and we're pushing it up. And we're going to this one up in the upper right hand corner and we're pulling it down. So we're done now with the tone curve. Now we're going to the split toning. This is where we're going to get this kind of odd toning that um, is typical of this Memphis filter in Instagram. We're going to go to the highlights. I would just dial in these numbers at least as close as you could get them. Uh, put the hue at 50 and then crank saturation all the way up. Jump down to shadows and put the um, shadow hue at 220 and crank the saturation all the way up. Now we're, we really have that Instagram look right now, that Memphis look what you could do is tweak the balance. If you move the balance to the right, it's going to make whatever hue you chose in the highlights uh, section of this panel to dominate the image. If you drag it to the left, it's going to make the hue that you chose in the shadows panel dominate uh, the image. So in this case, that w if you're familiar with the Memphis look, it 
kind of favors uh, the highlights um, kind of color. So we're going to go maybe around there, just eyeball it to your liking. I'm going to go around plus 19. I think that gives it a good look. So this is kind of that Memphis Instagram look right now. And so we're going to continue on. If you want to add some sharpening and noise reduction, you may. I'm not going to for this, uh, this image here. Lens corrections, I'm going to enable profile corrections. You could click remove chromatic aberration, but I don't think there really is any in this image. Um, now effects, of course, Instagram usually has some type of vignette on it and like borders. So we could get kind of that Instagram border look is go to the amount and just pull it all the way down. Go to the midpoint and pull that all the way down. And then go to the roundness and pull that all the way down. And you can see now we have this kind of Instagram looking border. Seems like Instagram filters are kind of extremes. So you noticed we moved a lot of these sliders all the way, you know, one way. So uh, that's what you would do, like especially in the split toning, we really saturated uh, these colors all the way. So that's it. That's how you would get an Instagram filter called Memphis through Lightroom. And I hope you guys find that useful and um, it dresses up some images for you. And I'd like to thank everyone that watches all my videos. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, again, um, I had a lot of suggestions on different uh, Lightroom videos I could do to get these different kind of looks. I think the next video I'll be doing is cross processing. So that's, that one's pretty cool. So I'll do that in another day or so. So you could look forward to that. If you guys have any other suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. And as always, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. All right. Talk to you soon.